Hello everybody, welcome back to PG Chain Design. Today what we're gonna do is finish up this ring band uh, from last video. Are you ready? Let's get started. Last video we will finish up this rope type of a design on two sides and, and today we're gonna talk about the braided design in the middle. If you want to find out a video, this is on the right top corner, you will able to find a video link over there. So back to what we have here, we kind of need to understand the structure first. If we looking at this pattern right here, it looks like it is falling into some sort of a square and it has kind of a V-shape coming up. One is lower, one is higher. Once you create one, then you repeat it multiple of them. All right. So we're going to come over here on our flat. So we can make any thickness that we want. I'm going to snap into the midpoint and just draw a rectangle. You want to draw a little bit uh, longer than what you have. So we have enough to trim. We're going to rotate it 45 degree. Let me move this back to the center. So that's the first one. The second one, we are simply just going to mirror to the other side. So we have this pattern here. Notice one has to go up, one has to go down. So those will be the line that we are going to uh, sweep. That is exploded. And we don't need those uh, small line there, a uh, shorter line here. So I'm just going to delete this. Okay. So we are going to create our first um, cross section. You can design the cross section that you like, or you can use it simply for the oval. I'm just going to design something a little bit more organic form. So I'm going to go from here and then kind of going up and maybe coming down a little bit on my right view and coming down a little bit like this and then close it up with the straight line. So this is going to be my profile. I'm going to move this profile with the, um, with the transform tool, orient to point and snapping to endpoint to endpoint here. Right here, I, I do want to copy and I do want to scale as well. And that's snapping into this place. And also another one somewhere in the middle because we want to have more control on it and the one at the end. We're going to do the same thing, one over here, one somewhere in the middle, and one close to the end. And we're going to adjust that so don't worry if it is not the right place. Okay, so now we have something like this. For this one, we are going to start it from here. Somewhere when we get into the middle, I would like to be a little bit taller. So I'm going to use the 1D scale and that scale 1D roughly like this. And we were able to change it later on. And when it coming back to the end, I do want it to be a little bit shorter. So we want to go something like this. Okay, the same thing happened on this side. I will like this one go a little bit taller right in the middle. And we're going to change that later. Um, so don't worry if it doesn't 100% fit. Okay, so let's give it a try. We're going to use the command is sweep to rail. This is rail one, this is rail two. And make sure that you record a history. We're going to go from here to here to here. And then we will get something like this. Okay, so it's a little bit bump over there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Rail 1, rail 2, cross section is 1, 2, and 3. And then we make sure we want to record history as well. And then we hit enter. And then we got something like this. Okay, so this is the part we need to do adjustment is because now it's completely cross and then you have that cross looking. So I, I would like to move this one and using the move tool so I can follow the edge by moving in a little bit more so you don't see that much. Um, and you can also adjust the height. If the height 
um, it's not what you want and you can always like moving back and forth and and adjust the height to be more suitable for your design okay so for demonstration purpose I'm going to stop here but you do have the option to edit this curve which is a cross section and also your rail okay before we cap it uh, we need to do a test on the pattern so that's have this one and making a copy just next to it and see how it looks now looking like this is hanging over there this piece is hanging over there and we do want it to get into the next body so we actually need to have it move in the body here once you're moving you want to make sure that it's not sticking out and that will be your pattern so now we can delete this one and delete this one this is a good time now let's go ahead to cap it because we no longer need it to change it and then if it will say you break the history that's okay all right so now let's take a look on the result we're gonna come over uh, maximize the top view and we're gonna do linear array how many do you need i don't know i'm just gonna try more than what i need and i'm going to snapping make sure my near is on so i can kind of slicing there so they will align nicely and then you can eyeball if you want to have a gap or you want them to overlapping a little bit okay so this is the pattern that we have and i'm going to delete some of them here Okay, so let's take a look if, if that look nice to you. Um, we are also going to, I think I might make it too high. So I'm going to move it down a little bit by select everybody and looking at my side view and then kind of move it down. So the rope design will show. Okay, now this is the pattern. Let's take a look on the render view of that okay so if you like the pattern and you like you know the bump and everything and we are able to trim it but notice that this is doesn't visually doesn't seems right in the center so you might want to move it up a little bit in right here so visually it will look more in the center so now what we need to do is we need to trim the top and the bottom okay so after bowling unit they become one piece and then we want a bowling difference by drawing a block on the top and mirror that block to the other side and now let's go ahead to bowling difference okay so now we have this again we need to play with the texture right here this is an empty space if you flow just back like that you're gonna get that empty space so what I like to do is I want to pick a point as my reference point so let's go ahead to use the move tool and I'm going to pick it up this point this end point right here and move that end point to my edge so make sure my intersect is on okay so now we know that this is the point we cutting we want to come over here draw a line close to the same point that we had there and using that line to trim the rest of it so it's really rare they will be exactly the same you know just you know the first time you trim and we're gonna use this one to trim the extra okay so all we need to do is make sure they will be aligned perfectly let's go ahead to use the 1d scale and we want to scale from this point all the way to the end and moving up to the edge there uh, they will meet perfectly when we flow it back so we need to come over here to creating the surface and we are going to so we are gonna come over here using the transform flow along the surface we're gonna pick up all of them you can bowling them if you want to let's pick up one of the corner and come over here we want to pick it up 
the same corner over here. So once you have flow it back, you're going to see this match really nicely if you cut it correctly. Okay, um, one more trick that I would like to show you. Um, this is still has a seam over there. To close the seam, the best way to do is explode it, everything and join back everything. So that way you will get the solid polished surface here. All right, now the last step, you go ahead to uh, bowling unit all of them. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and comment and share my video so I can reach more people. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.